Alumna of Montgomery High School in Rockville has found herself at the center of a growing controversy against fast fashion. Lexi Silverstein has made national headlines over her fashion college's new partnership with Shein, uh -huh. a company that gets a lot of criticism for its low price clothing. Lexi yeah, is does. live with us now to talk about her fight. And Lexi, I guess the first question is, why did you start this protest against your college uh, partnering up with Shein? What was the impetus behind it and what do you hope to accomplish? Yeah, well, thank you so much for having me. To, essentially, this is exactly like that iconic scene from The Devil Wears Prada where Meryl Streep's character is really laying into Anne Hathaway's character about how essentially the fashion industry affects everyone. Right. If you wear clothes on a daily basis, and if you're on this planet right now, sustainability and the fashion industry affect you. So to tell you a little bit about both Fitum and Shein, so Shein is one of the biggest fast fashion companies in our industry today, and Fitum is the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in downtown Los Angeles, and one of the top 10 most sustainable fashion schools in the country and in the, in the United States. And so if those two descriptions don't kind of tell you what the issue is, I will. So recently, Shein and Fitum partnered together to give 12 students $40,000 scholarships and an opportunity to to produce a five to ten piece collection for Shein. Mm -hmm. This is an incredible, incredible opportunity, but the worst possible option for this was Shein, who's currently in the news for being sued by designers for copyright infringement and allegedly stealing their designs, and as well for the government is trying to stop Shein from becoming public because of their alleged and well-known um, unlawful labor practices. Got you. So what do you hope to accomplish with this? Yeah, so I, I didn't know if I was the only one feeling this way. I felt like it was very hypocritical for this partnership to be in place when we learned so much about sustainability at school. And so I went on change.org and I started a petition to see if I was the only one feeling this way. And we got over 4,000 signatures. And so I knew I wasn't the only one feeling this way, which is, is great. And so my original goal was to essentially have Shein and Fitum and their partnership together and have a more sustainable company then honor that scholarship. Um, but since talking with Fitum, my new goal is to start a sustainability council, um, including and faculty so that we can have a say in future partnerships and as well for FITM to agree to never partner with FITM or with Shein again. I know your activism mm. started here in the DMV. You, we mentioned you went to Montgomery High School and so that's kind of where this passion was spurned. Have a lot of folks here in the area who definitely uh, take on causes with gusto like you have now. I'm wondering what do you want people to do now? You've started this uh, this effort to make sure that the school doesn't partner with, with companies like Shein but what do you want people to do? Where should they shop? Because it is a very popular clothing site that people uh, tend to frequent quite frequently uh, what would you like them to do I think there are so many uh, sustainability is such an overdefined word in the fashion industry and I think it's really what you see sustainability as so oftentimes I secondhand source a lot of my clothes by going to Goodwill um, but it could also be shopping in your own closet my form of therapy is sitting on the floor in my closet looking at all the clothes I have and how I can wear them in eight million different ways um, or it's renting or borrowing from friends so there's a ton of options that are more sustainable um, and I think a big part of it is just to pat yourself on the back for the things that you are doing right in this industry rather than beat yourself up for all the things you could be doing because there's so much you could do but we got to you know keep the good fight going well we prod your effort yes, uh, it's definitely something to take on and the fact that you're in the fashion industry and looking go. at how to be more sustainable hats off to you a lot of folks here in the dmv and beyond very proud of the work you're doing sustainability council yes i like that all right thank you so much for that now we want to let you know we did reach out to Shein for comment a spokesperson with Shein said this in part quote the purpose of this scholarship program and curriculum is to benefit up-and-coming design students in the la community by removing some of the barriers typically associated with the fashion industry. With more than 20 proud FITM alums currently working at Shein and our U.S. corporate headquarters, only a few blocks away from FITM's campus, this is a cause close to our hearts and is part of Shein's commitment to empowering young designers and artists through our Shein X designer incubator program. So that right. is the response from a Shein spokesperson. We'll have to see where this effort goes. Right. Uh, young people taking action, that's what it's about. Let's again see what happens. Yeah, my daughter's a big Shein fan, so... A lot of us are.